it's time to start planting everything out. So I've started bringing things out and it's just a case of deciding what's going to go where. So I've got my Jackby little pumpkins, I've got four plants which I'm going to put to grow over the home built arch. I've got the hoops in ready for the netting for the bulk of my brassicas. I'm going to go through, I've got a lot of brassicas. So I will grow the taller ones in here because these hoops are pretty tall. And then I started to put some pumpkin, or should I say some squash, uh, yukiki kiri and some mini butternut at that end of that bed. Now I know that, you know, they could potentially take this whole bed up, but what I plan to do this year is, is not let those vines go to bananas. Um, so as they grow, I will trim them and then just try and have a few less but good fruits on those. And then at this end, I can always put some more netting up to put in the smaller brassicas like the uh, dwarf varieties, so like the dwarf curly kale and so on. So I just need to go through the brassicas and work out the tall ones and the short ones and start planting out. So it's actually really overcast today, which is perfect. It's perfect to give these plants an opportunity where they're not going to get absolutely baked. And it's also perfect for me to be out in the garden but not sweating and feeling like it's all just a bit too much. So I'm going to start with these Jackby little squash and I plan to put one at each corner and hopefully get those growing up. So they'll come sort of just inside, hopefully start them up the frame and away they will go. So let's get those in first, but I'm going to need my trowel. <laughs> I always forget something. Got it. <laughs> So at the end of the last videos that you watched over that weekend, I did in fact water in the nematodes. So they've had plenty of time now to start doing their thing. And I've kept this area well watered so that it's not dried out, which is exactly what they need. Now I have got some nasturtiums that I've put in here. Um, and I've also got, obviously this is the onion bed over here and here I've got all my flowers. I am going to sacrifice. I can definitely get some in in between those onions, but I'm going to have to pull up oh, some of these Californian poppies, but I've got so many of them, I can sacrifice a couple. And a little bit of calendula is going to have to go as well, just to make a space. That is the Jackby Littles in. So next I'm going to get some of these squash in. And I can't tell you how happy this makes me. You know, after starting all those little plants off, sowing the seeds, watching them germinate, nurturing them. And it's always a bit nerve wracking now, isn't it? Getting them out. So I've got the nematodes in situ but what I'm also going to do this year is use some diatomaceous earth and that's not something I've done before but having had such slug decimation in previous years I want to do belt and braces I did have a year where I put all my squash out it was actually in the bed that the onions are in and overnight I pretty much lost a lot so whilst I'm also filled with excitement I'm a little bit worried as well so I'm going to use some diatomaceous earth as well.
and when I'm planting my squash they really like to be well firmed in and I like to push the soil down around them just to make a little well so that when you water that water goes right down into the roots and they really seem to thrive like that. So the next thing I need to do, that's the Cavallo Nero, which I should have put in a long time ago, but it's still doing okay. I just need to pull a few of those outer leaves off. And obviously that's going to be pretty tall, uh, but I want to work out which ones are tall, which ones are short, and then work out who's going where. I do tend to cram my plants in a little bit. I've never really given them the space that is recommended, um, but they seem to thrive. And I also find if they're not, too, there's a happy medium between big spacing, where I find a lot of the weeds take over, and too close together where you're more likely to get pest damage. Um, so it's just finding that happy medium, but I do put them in a wee bit closer than is recommended, just because of the space I've got. Well, that took some doing. So the brassica netting I knew would fit because I've used it before and really I should have thought about it. Um, the netting here is the same width as the netting on the bed that I've already covered and of course when I put the higher poles in it wasn't going to get all the way down at the ends and all the way down on each side. So I tried hammering the metal poles in deeper but they weren't going to go. I tried switching from the hammer to a mallet, that didn't work. So I took it to pieces and started again with some bamboo canes which are lower. I've pushed them in and bingo. So I'm really really pleased with getting all of these brassicas and squash out, the pumpkin here to go over the pumpkin arch 
and I think I've earned myself a cup of tea.